So here we are seven months after the election, and we're still talking about why Hillary Clinton didn't visit Wisconsin. To be clear, she was here during the primary campaign, but that was it. No visits between last summer's national convention and the November election. In contrast, Donald Trump visited Wisconsin six times during the final 100 days of the campaign. At an appearance Wednesday, Clinton said the reason she didn't return to Wisconsin was that her campaign thought it was doing really well here. It turned out, she said, their information wasn't as reliable as they had wished. Clinton also blamed her loss on Governor Walker and his support for voter ID laws, which she said suppressed turnout. But the Clinton campaign's decision to assume Wisconsin was in the win column still seems mystifying. That's in part because of how she's fared in the state in the past. Wisconsin voters have never really warmed to Clinton. In 2008, she was crushed by Barack Obama in the state's presidential primary, 58 to 41 percent. In last year's April primary, Bernie Sanders beat Clinton, 57 to 43 percent. Clinton did lead Donald Trump in Marquette Law School polling throughout the fall campaign, but she still had strong negatives, another red flag. State Democratic Party leadership said they practically begged the Clinton campaign to send the candidate here. But instead, the campaign sent surrogates. Chelsea Clinton, Bill Clinton, Tim Kaine, Bernie Sanders, and Cory Booker. So would multiple visits by Clinton to the Badger State have made a difference? We'll never know, but given her history in Wisconsin and the GOP's effective get-out-the-vote operation in this state, the decision to take Wisconsin for granted remains curious, just as it was seven months ago. I'm Mike Goucher. Thanks for being with us. I'll see you again next week on Upfront.